on this computer. Right, yes, please, show us the items that you've got for your still life drawing, Brian. Right, I'm intrigued to it see what be, we've picked it out. It might be a bit hard, but if, if you can see these, wait a minute. Oh, is that a vase? It's a vase. Hey, I thought it was. I thought it was a tiny Hoover for some reason. Then <laughs> no, it's a vase. I've got two of them. Oh, nice. Can I just oh, show you something else as well, Katie? While I'm here, yeah, go for it. This I did today, and I'm very, very chuffed with myself. Oh, let's have a look. It's so Took me a long time to do this. I swear I'm until I find it. Hang on. So many bits here. <laughs> That's a good thing though. Yeah, right. So many drawings. Forever doing drawings. Right. <laughs> yeah. have you, have, Anthony, have you got a couple of objects for you to draw? Yes, I have. I got a green red pad. Right. Um. So you've got something to draw with. What's the object are you going to draw? Are you going to draw a, a cup, or um? I don't know. What else have I got? You could <coughs> ball of string. I I felt inspired by Katie. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this is this is my fake raven, or rook. Yeah, he hasn't got a grey hood, so he's more likely a rook. <laughs> Some kind of crow, yeah. anyway. Um, like micro can sit on. I've on. got a boat. Oh, from like Titanic. So that's that's a um R and L I boat. It's a um. Oh, well, it was it was a bath toy of Eva's, but we love the R and L I. So I've got my pencil that I'm using today is actually an R and L I pencil. Yeah. Royal Life Board Institution. That's the one, yes. Helen. Yes. What do you think of this? Well, is that a portrait? That's a brilliant portrait. Oh, yes. Well done. That's job on. So it was, was that drawn after the session, Brian? Uh, yeah, it was done after the session. Oh, brilliant. I got oh. It, I got oh, it. actually. Pardon? Oh, Alan's, admit Alan back in. What was that, Helen? I was going to say, if I just bring something up on the screen. Uh, yes. Um, I will just share something with you guys. Right, fair enough. Uh, because if I go close. How do I do that again? That one, share screen. So, Katie. Alan sent me these yesterday. So this is oh, one of his drawings from... What is it? It's one of his portraits that he did. Oh, oh Alan, that's great. Fantastic. I love how like, he gives the blue against the orange. That's so striking, that is. That's is. like, pow. That's <laughs> wonderful. Now, if I, I think I can bring up another one. Just give me a second. Yes. Um, I'll go back. So... Alan, I'm showing Katie your work from last week. And here's the, the other one. I love this. Oh, mate, that's ace. I love how you've used a different colour for each section. I didn't realise we had Van Gogh, I mean, Picasso. It, it's very Picasso-like, isn't it? It so is. The way you've used, oh, made, really made use of those construction lines. You've actually yeah. incorporated it into your piece. That's well cool, man. Yeah. Thanks for sending over the, sharing the pictures. Yeah, thank you for thank you for sending those. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want me to share photographs like that, I know Anthony, you know how to share photographs to the YouTube <laughs> page, don't you? And yeah. Alan knows how. Brian and Abby, you know when you message the page, yeah, yeah. you can send pictures on the messenger as well. Yeah. All right. So if you want to share some of your artwork with us, that would be fantastic. Um. <clears throat> Right. Um, I've got I've got my support worker here. So, do you want to run through that again, Helen? Please. Yeah. Um. I was just saying to Brian that if 
he wants to share some of the artwork that he's been doing at home with us, what he can do is if you go onto the Heathlands Facebook page, you can press messenger. So you can directly mm -hmm. message the page and send us photographs of his work and we'll share it with everybody on our Facebook. Yeah, so That'd be fab. Uh, sorry, Helen, the man that you were talking to there. Yes. His name's Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. So that, that's, that's Helen, one of our cheaters. Okay, um, it's nearly 10 past, so I think yeah. Mark must be busy or has forgotten. So I'll, I'll send him a reminder next week to see. I'm but, just going to prop you there. So I can champion. See you. So if you <laughs> want to make a start, Katie. Yeah, let's go for it. So let's go. Like I, said, I did mention about getting an item, but it can just be something in front of you. Um, so, but we'll start off, I think, with another warm up like we did last week, because I thought that was quite good to get us in the mood. And I've got a bit, I slept a bit funny last night and I've got a crick in my neck. So I'm going to, I fancy a warm up as well. So if you'd like, you can either stand up or sit up nice and tall in your chair. It's up, up to you, but I'm going to start up here. And like last time, we're just going to do the same. And we're going to turn into jellyfish. We're going to be our octopuses and you're just going to move your entire arm like big wobbly noodles. And you're just going to loosen up. So you can rotate. Your shoulders. I feel like I'm uh, I'm doing like Nick's exercise at home videos here. We're doing two in one. We're doing exercise and art. <laughs> so start like rotating your shoulders. Dance. You could do a bit of the chicken dance if you want. That might be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I had some clucking then. It was clucking. Me. <laughs> Brilliant. I talk to my chickens at home, so it, it just comes naturally. <laughs> Part of the crew. So once you feel like your shoulders are nice and loose, we're going to move our movement focus down to our elbow. So we're going to start maybe pretending to be like a big ocean wave. Oh, getting, focusing how your elbows are moving. And then we're going to slowly direct that energy down to our wrists. And you can start either flapping them around. You can pretend you're playing some bongos. You can point. get really into playing your bongos. I wish I had some bongos now to play. And oh, then start... Okay. Yeah, I, do, I do that with um, Susan on music to movement. Oh, you've been pro at this now then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then slowly moving the focus of your energies into your fingers. So playing your, your imaginary piano. It's getting them warmed up. Fabulous. Right. Okay, that's our body's warmed up. So I think we'll let's we do another warm up drawing as well. So like I was talking about last week, it's sort of getting our hand and our brain talking to each other. So it's getting us all synced up and getting us all set and ready for the drawing we're going to do. Now, I think, so if you get your drawing stuff ready to rock and roll, I'm going to use ink again. I've put a load of newspaper out in my house today because last week I got ink everywhere. <laughs> I'm prepared this week. Brilliant. And I think we'll start off, let's do some wobbly wiggly worms again. And so try doing some really slowly and then you can try doing some really quickly. And that is going to get us all nice and ready for the session. See if you could do some bigger than others, some tighter squiggles. Wait, my squiggles. <laughs> They're mine, Katie. Ah, oh, smashing. Hang on, I haven't shown you yet. <laughs> smashing that you're showing us. There. There we go. Ah, oh, fab. 
We'll have a, a whole army of squiggles by the end of these sessions. <laughs> Bad. Oh. Hey, oh, we've got some dynamic angles going on in them. Hey. So once you're doing your squiggles, we can do a nice big spirally loop. So if you start in the centre of your page and slowly draw outwards a big, nice, slow spiral, and that will get us nice and ready to rock and roll. From me. <laughs> How's that? Oh, Sterling. Yeah. Good. good stuff. You know, we mm. get a lot out of this. Oh, I'm glad. I'm really glad. So, thank you to you and Helen. Oh, thank you for saying thank you. It makes it all the <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic, Abby. Oh. Done. Oh, they're really fun, them, Abby. Hey. Yeah, not better. Nice no, one. Great oh, spirals. Absolutely cracking. It's just a. Katie said this is just a warm up, isn't it? What, sorry? This is just a warm up. Yes. The hard work's <laughs> yet to come. Oh, yeah, we'll be cracking that whip before too long. That's it. <laughs> So if we feel all warmed up, or would you like a, a little bit of extra time? I think somebody's... No, no, no. I want, to, I want you to crack the whip. <laughs> We're getting on it. I like this enthusiasm. On a Friday evening as well, this is, this is great. Right, you know, so I'll introduce our next little segment. So a bit like last week, we started with looking at the rules before we could break the rules and sort of laying a foundation of knowledge before we get on to something super complex. So when you get on to sort of more detailed work, you sort of, you've got a base knowledge. So we are really gonna start super simple off today. And we're just gonna look at some geometric shapes. So we're gonna look at 3D shapes. Uh, and it might seem a bit simple, but it's gonna really help us when we move on to something a bit groovy, like a crow sat in a flamingo. Cause once you know how to do your 3D geometric shapes, a flamingo is a piece of cake, it's just like, yeah, whatever, it's just a load of shapes. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today, is breaking things down into their simple shapes. So we'll, like I said, we'll just start off with a few, it's a bit of a warm up as well, getting a few 3D shapes on the go. And there's two ways of doing a cube. And I will talk you through the first one. So, all we need to do to start with is draw yourself a square. So that's just all side, four straight lines, all the same size. <coughs> so then again. So you're, we're looking for just a nice normal square. So that's four straight lines, all the same size. And if you if you if you like things neat, feel free to use a ruler for this. But we're just learning, so. There's not, yeah. you don't need to use a ruler, but I know some people really like using rulers, so. <laughs> Smashing. So once you've got your square, what we're going to do is we're going to do a projection. You all right, Alan? There we go. Have a peep. 
Nice one. <laughs> so we're going to do what's called a, I think I, well, I call it a projection. And you're going to pick three corners of your square. I want you to, maybe if I just show you first, drawing three diagonal lines coming off it. So you see what I've done there, just picking three corners and doing the lines coming off. I can't see that. Can I go a bit closer? Can you see that, Mike? Sorry. <laughs> I'm asking you to do that for us. Oh, yeah. It's like she just took lines up there to, like, things are going to go Right, to so can you, can you hold that? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Have you found yourself a tripod? Mm. You have a tripod. <laughs> Could that be? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Right. I'll keep right. this holding up for Brian. Who's in it? It's like you're a really tall person looking down on a coffee table. <laughs> Smashing. So once you've got something like that, I want you to join up those lines we've just done. So I'll just quickly do that and I'll hold it back up again for you. Et voilà. Qui voit? On that one. To that end. There you go, well done. Mm -hmm. Hey, smashing. It looks like a box. <laughs> it is a box. Yeah. Oh, that's it. lovely, Abby. Oh, do you know, I'm liking the scale you've got on that as well. I'm liking that you're going full page on that, Abby. I like that. <laughs> that's wicked. You should just do it on these ones instead. Well done, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I'm just going to beat you. Is that right? Well, you can do whatever size you want. There, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, somewhere with my fingers. Yeah. And the same up to there. Now from, from this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Helen, I'll take my face. Yeah. 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 Fantastic, Abby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Especially when you have to leave the right thing for us. Cool. So are we ready to move on to a different way of doing a cube? Now we've obviously just like smashed that cube out the ballpark. Let's have another go. So this is going to be a bit of a more <laughs> dynamic angle cube. And to start with, all you need to do is like the letter yeah the yacht if i just show, oh that's a wobbly line show you that one that's all we need to start with for this next cube so again we have the cube um has she got a picture there oh the letter y is that a y uh, is it, it k is that a y yeah yeah and that's going to be the start of your next cube. Have you got okay. one there, Anthony? Ah, cracking. Brilliant, I can see it. So, mm. you see these top bits of your Y are coming out from, yeah. the, or from this straight uh, vertical line. Cube on the top of the line. We're going to copy them at the bottom of this line. So if I do that, and I'll show you what I mean yeah. when I'm talking yep. about that. So you almost get, it's almost a bit like a stick man jumping for joy. So you just copy in the same of so that line on the two, bottom. One goes that way and one goes that way. Uh, yeah, two going up from there. Katie! Yeah. Have you got Thank it? You oh, brilliant. Oh, that, that's neat as neat as that's cracking. We've got like, you could be like architect to these like neatnesses going on here. Brilliant. Yep. Sort of like a bookend, isn't it? Yeah, it is, I. Eh? Mm. Great. So, yeah, did you just say it looks like a book? Yeah, yeah. I did. I said it looks like a bookend. It does. Well, we're going to make it look even more like a book at the minute. And you see, oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to join the top and the bottom lines together so it looks like. A book. So those flicky outy bits. You're gonna do another nice. <laughs> He's a bit wonky, in mine. Like, but, um, this together like a book. That looks like an open book. Like so. Yeah, Katie. 
Hi, Alan. Hey. Oh. Yeah. On it. That's great. Okay. There's a mess. So, sorry. I don't, I don't like something. Once you've got a nice open book shape, we're going to... Oh, crack, I've just dripped in colour of the cubes. No, I just saw it to show you. See, what I've done here is you've added a little teepee hat to your open book. So you're going to go up and then down. So it's like an upside down V. To connect it up. And there you have... Upside down V. Oh, it's good job I put newspaper down on the floor. A groovy. Don't know. Oh, no. um, where have you gone? I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> hey, Katie, we don't know where you are. Um, Zoom. We can't yeah. see why I wonder whether you've turned video off for both. Where's the Zoom on there? Where's oh. Zoom on? Good stuff, Anthony. Ah. Oh, there you are. We're back. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. So what has she done now? Hey. Hello? Oh. oh, you're in the dark, Anthony. <laughs> what? Have you had a power cut? I don't know. I'll go out and look. What do you? I'll give you a minute there just to uh, see what the quack would be like. There we go. I'll finish off it. Last slurp of my brew. She's done two. Yeah, the ones you want to do before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just squeezing them onto one piece of paper to save said paper. Right. But you can see it looks like. You've almost, well, you've got that cube and you've twisted it around and you're seeing it from a different angle. So it's the same shape, but from a different angle. I wonder if Anthony's okay in the dark there. You okay, Anthony? Hi. Hey, you're back. I'm back. back on again. Hey. Did you have a power cut? I didn't know I'm going to... And turn it off. I don't know how. Oh, do you? Hmm. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Helen. Yeah. Me? Do you know how? No, I don't think. No, I don't think we've met. Oh, Anthony. Are you yeah. are you gonna listen along? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, right. So we'll do a a tube next. So we've gone pointy um, and let's do a cylinder. And this is super simple. Uh, oh, and he's back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, at your place tonight. So yeah. uh, a cylinder, a three D circle. All you need to do is start with a circle. At the top of your page. Like that. Just a nice, simple circle. Cracking. No. So, a bit like our projected cube. Now, a bit of a tip here for this is you sort of find halfway on your circle. And you're going to do two straight lines coming down from your circle, a bit like what we did with the cube. So it looks like, um, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> a sort of silo of sorts. Like that. Like a, a very rotund pig with little legs, perhaps. <laughs> Table. Oh, oh. Or, uh, yeah, or like a very trendy sort of table. mid century table, yeah. So, so kind of like that. Cracking. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think of that? Smashing. No, it's smashing. super simple to finish this off. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's an oh, that's a groovy dynamic cube as well. Very good. Oh, smashing. Well, all right, Helen. That's brilliant. Yeah. But um, <laughs> So to finish off our cylinder, <coughs> you see these two straight lines going down we've just done. Instead of connecting them with a straight line, I want you to do a bendy line. And I want you to copy the bendy line of your circle. So we're looking at the same sort of shape, bendy line, as your circle. So you see how it sort of curves down? My bottom mm. one is curving down like that. Mm. She's talking about one of them. Yeah, just like that. Uh, yeah. Mine's pointing up at you. Yeah. 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 Mine probably looking at it. Not quite bendy enough actually to match, but you get an idea. <laughs> yeah. Really? Would we? Are we all ready to move on to our next ship? Yeah. yeah. Right. right, let's let's do a pyramid and then we'll get to some still life in. So we'll do our last geometric shape today. And let's have a think. So this one, we're gonna do a pyramid. I got my, Start off yeah. with a triangle. So that's three straight lines, all the same size, please. All we need to do for now. You see all these 3D shapes, you just need to start with the 2D shape and you could go from there. Smashing. Oh, look at that, that's some sort of Russian constructivism uh, um, <laughs> picture that with your yeah, circle and your triangles. You don't want to make that into a block of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> there well, you go, things just made that yeah. Could you? You could. Everything's been about food today, hasn't it, Brian? Yeah. It's Friday live. Yeah. And we were all talking about food. I know. It sounds really crazy when you're doing art, isn't it? No. No, no. Food, food's it. I mean, food is like one of the like old school classic things to do still life of. I mean, yes. if you go to like some sort of painting class, They'll put a few pears in, in a bowl and a nice handkerchief. <laughs> so it's totally about art is food. And you need food to do art, as, of course, as well. So yeah, we'll finish off our pyramid. And from the top point, where your two lines come, well, all three points are the same, aren't they, actually? Look at that, maths. And I want you to do just one singular line coming off at an angle like that. So you're almost giving it like a little arm to the little skirt shape you've got. It's just like a tent. <laughs> yeah, it is a tent. Oh. I'm going Wait. to save that there. Oh, yeah. Um, how, I, I don't know how to make it. It's very the Ooh, I might be risking dribbling here. That was a lot of ink. Hey! Yeah. I think you can even see the dribbling off my, uh, my one there. I'll keep that over here. You got that, Anthony? It's like an open tent, like you said. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Um, it's, quite it's a good description. Yeah, I'm liking all this. Like, this is what's good about doing art with other people is that they see things that you can't. So, very enjoyable. But I think this tent, there's there's some bears about, so we're going to shut that tent and join up that line that you've just done back to another corner. And you see how it looks like a bit of a smaller version of a triangle. So I might go down there. And then you can go on a mountain. <laughs> like, the next yeah. week. 
I'm liking that big fat line mark making you use as well, Abby. That's really nice and clear. It is. It's lovely. Uh, really nice. Matching. And you see just this, just adding two simple lines to a 2D shape. And you've got a 3D shape. So once you know these, you can do anything. Katie! Yo! See that that thing that's going down beside the pyramid? Oh, that this? line. No, the line that's going down. Yeah. The what is one? it? No, the line that's going oh, down. It's the dribble. This bit here. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's just my. Ink you don't want me. One. You don't want me to do that, do you? Uh, you don't have to. Not unless you want to. That's yeah. tough, you know, you can accessorize your pyramid. It looks a bit like a futuristic. Oh, weather, I don't it? know if you can. Like a kite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, Brian, but Katie and I are using liquid ink. Do you know, like, the ink you get inside of a fountain pen? Yeah. A cartridge pen. We're yeah. using liquid ink and a paintbrush. Right. So it, if you use too much, it can dribble, basically. Dripping. <laughs> Very <Yeah>. good. <laughs> tell, me some, tell me something, Helen. Yeah. When I come to Heathland, yep. could could me and you, I know that I don't see you much, but could me and you do a bit of that? Well, I'll just let me grab something. I think I've got an example here. I'm not working at work at the moment. I'm working from home. Yeah. Um, but if you go in, you can ask Spiff to look on one of the top shelves and there should be bottles of ink like this. Oh, look at that. It should be red, there should be blue, I think there's yellow, and there should be black as well. Right. So there should be big bottles of ink like this in the art room, and it's in one of the cupboards on the wall. Yeah? Yeah. So if you ask Spiff or Helen, whoever's in with you, um, if he can't find them, tell him to give me a ring and I'll tell him where they are. <laughs> so yeah, you can absolutely use them. Smash in. Get all splish splashy with ink. Fabulous. Right, so we've got our shapes. We've logged them. <laughs> Excuse me, logged them in our brain. So we're going to start looking at some of our still life objects. Now, I think just to start with, let's look at one item and uh, we can work from there. So if you've got an uh -huh. item here or in your vicinity, uh -huh. just select one thing. Oh. Now, uh, I'm going to go for this, I think. I've got, it's called an atomizer. I use it, you use it for watering your succulents. But you can see it's got a rather groovy thing. Mm -hmm. oh. yes. Where have we gone? Oh, I come. Are you still there? I like to draw, draw a heart then. What can oh. you draw? Mm -hmm. Draw. I love that. We'll draw the part then. Um, that one really <laughs> you can draw next to the Right, I've just had a message from Heather to say she can't get onto Google Meet session, and I'm like, it's because it's on Zoom. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm just going to try and send her the link. So you Not guys good. carry on while I try and get Heather in. Right so on. does everybody have an item that they can draw from, even if it's just a mug in front of yeah. you or... Uh, a box or uh, in front of you. So once you've got your item, I want you to think about, I want you to look carefully at it before we even draw it. You're going to inspect it and see what's the most interesting angle you can draw it from. Because <clears throat> if I was just to draw this from straight on, you wouldn't, hang on. <laughs> you wouldn't no, see. Oh, that, that could, that's easy. That's yeah. angle. So I'm making sure that you, where I'm drawing it from, I'm I can get things. all the interesting stuff on. Yeah, just draw what else is going to be easier for you. Be good. So picking out your angle, and, and I have to think about those shapes we've just drawn. Can you find any of those shapes in your item? So if it is just a mug, it's, you know, you've got your cylinder right there, or you can break um, it down into little shapes. So for this, for example, I've got 
some two little sticky outlines. I've got a little circle and I've got a big circle at the bottom and I'm going to put all of those shapes together. So let's have a go and uh, see how you get on. Don't know how it's going to work out, Katie. That's all right. We're just here to practice and learn. You haven't got a clue what I've got. <laughs> Like I say, at the minute, we're not worrying about loads of detail, just finding the big shapes you can see in your object. That's all we need to think about. Is it? If it is you that's fine. Definitely not easy. Thank you. Oh, well done. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll put a design on it if you want. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, you see, the thing is, like, we still like, you're not just doing still like, you're actually just drawing a bit, aren't you? But yeah, I think that's a great example of doing all the shit. So, if I hold this guy up and then that guy, I should put him that way around, shouldn't I? You shouldn't come back He's a bit of a sad raven because he's not got very much of a tail. <laughs> oh, no, that's nice. You see what Ellen's done there? She's got that the head and the body separate circles and joined them up. So, really breaking down those simple shapes. So, if I show you mine. If I, can, if I do it like this, um, I'm going to open the grill of the screen as well. So that's my item. And then this is my simple drawing of the item. There. Can you read back? Kitty! Excuse me. Kitty! Hello! Hello. Can I just show you this? Go for it. Wow, that's it's quite the majestic bars you've got there. It reminds me of a, a whale, that bars. Is that okay? So can, we can't see your drawing, Brian. So it's... <laughs> Aha, there oh, we go. Oh, wow. Nice. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, got a nice ratio of... Uh, of its sort of long neck there. Katie, can you hang up? Thank you. Oh, that's not what you tell me. You've added it in the middle there, Abby. Mix it up with different colours as well. That one's really good. Do you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of. Uh, really you know when we were going to call John Kutcher for? Yeah, you've got it drawn on. Hey, Mummy. <laughs> so if we're feeling good about oh, doing one object, oh. doing one object, how do we feel about, should we, should we start looking at doing a few together, doing a, a bit more of a still life setup? How about that? So yeah. a bit like how when I was talking about doing our singular shape, before you even start putting pen to paper, you can start plotting out your art by just how you arrange your objects and how they interact with each other. So, for example, I've put a crow on a flamingo. I mean, how can you, you can start making your art just by laying out your items. So, for example, I've got this plastic skull from Halloween that I could put with this tiny card. And as you're laying your things out before you, have a good think about how you want them to be. Do you want the school to be bigger? So you put that closer to you. Yeah, you that, 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 Start yeah. sort of plotting yeah. out your items and how you feel about them. Yeah, do is put that on you might even just do two items. Just You might even just want to do two or three items. You don't need to have hundreds or hundreds because we'll start looking at that more next week, sort of more complex pictures. But we're just no, setting the ground right now. Already got that here. Yeah. Look, so yeah. if I put this here, yeah. Yeah. 
and then maybe the sugar bowl. Yeah. Okay. And again, just sort of find your shape. So once you're happy with your layout and how things are in relation to each other, you can start breaking down the main shapes again in your picture. Yeah, but it's not, is it? It's sort of like oval, isn't it? Um, yeah. I've done that. I'm thinking. Like, maybe got. Like, if you maybe done it. Hey. Can we show you what I picked? Is that a jar of bushes? It is a jar of bushes. It's actually a beer mug. Do the big stuff. Oh. A pint glass. What's that? Yeah. What's with them? Pugs? Oh. Mm, I've got like. <laughs> what do I want to pick oh. now? Okay. Yeah, and then do a circle. Just sitting there, I could turn them over. I'll send you that one. No. <laughs> I went to go get the table and he says, Well, do you like that? And uh, sorry, Katie, I'm getting carried away. Uh, <laughs> That's good. It's good to be carried away with things without. <laughs> uh, where do you see this? I'm I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a bit, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's nothing to apologise for. I mean, I, I, mean I, I apologise for the state of this school that I've done. <laughs> I've tried to break down its shape. So it's, I, I can see where my light's going, Mungo. <laughs> I've sort of just been breaking down his little shapes. And I've put the little bars quite next to him because I liked how the bend in the bars shaped around the bend in the little plastic skull. So you sort of, we're starting to look at negative space, the shapes in between your objects, negative space. Look at that. Didn't think we'd be talking about negative space today. Such a long time. There's no rush. Sorry, it's just you know, it's, it's, it's like so I know some of you might still be halfway through a drawing, but I'll start sort of talking about what we can start thinking about for your next one, or you can even add it onto the one we're currently doing actually. And we're going to start thinking about shade and depth. So we're going to even make this a bit more pop. We're going to make things a bit more sort of 3D in itself. So you started off with your basic shape drawings. And so what actually. Not the wrong you've got your base, it's almost like a basic outline and then we can start thinking about adding shading and depth so pick your item do you want to see my pic picture what's that sorry anthony do you want to see do you want to see my beautiful picture oh yeah that's nice. um, yeah yeah all right, let me have a... I'll scooch up into the camera so I can see it properly. Oh, what about the top bit? Do the stump for us, Anthony? Do oh. more around this bit, so nice. it's like... Sort of oh, yeah, I can really see all the sort of shapes you've picked out of your object in that. It's, it is. Um, it's, it's just like <laughs> E.T. <laughs> it is, it is like something from the future. And Michelada. There is not a character. So yeah, so you, we've all got 
Not on that one as much. Hello, Jimmy. Scissors. That's nice. fantastic, Anthony. They're really cool. They are. Everybody's doing a grand job. So, like I say, you've got an outline. So you can look at the shape again. And one trick I do for this is you sort of, you squint at it, sort of, or you can hold it from afar. And you sort of look. And that way, you're not focusing on the details, but you're just looking where, which bits are darker than the other. You think, oh, right, well... You might have the big light on like me and it might be glittering. And then you start to figure out maybe how would you like to add the dark areas? So you can do that with just gluing it in or cross hatching, whatever style you want. Or you might even want to, if you're using colours, you could just use a dark colour to put in your shade. So start thinking about how you can make this a bit more. Really. Like that. So it's a super simple way of starting to add a bit more detail to your doings. Your doings to your artwork. That's what I mean. Oh. So we're slowly, this process that we're doing here, starting off with your shapes and then squinting and finding your dark and your light spots, is a nice, easy step by step way of drawing your objects. So, this is my little example of my atomizer spray bottle. As you see the difference already that's made of just adding, colouring in some bits and adding the dark and the light sections there. Splashing. I might do another little example. What do you think? Maybe it would be like, you know, like, share it with like this, you know, like... Oh, and another piece of paper. Sorry. From down my finger below, from my finger down. That's where it's darkest. Yeah. 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 So I I don't know if I can angle this. Try to put in some shading. <laughs> oh it's it's like one of those old fashioned milkshake cups. I like the sort of angle that you've put on the yeah, how the glass sort of curves. Yeah, I don't know if I can yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, fluting. Uh, excuse me, Helen. Yes. That's fantastic. Oh. Well done, you. That shading is making it really like pop right. out. The what, what do you think, Katie? That, no, it's spot on. Like I say, it's really like I did something like it's really bringing it out to me. That shading you've just added there. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you drawing, Alan? Show you. Oh, oh, I like the look of that. I was going to say. Think... Bit... And what about you, Abby? What did you pick to draw? Snowman. Oh, a snowman. So hey. you. Nice. You want to put some shading down the sides to make them kind of look round. Mm -hmm. so I'm yeah. trying to think if I've got a round object. A round the, object. Uh, the back of this school's quite round. Oh, so you can see the idea the of how to shade. You see, oh, do you know? Okay. So you see yeah. how it's yeah. some sections are dark and light on these round bits, but it's picking up the light. You can add. 
And that finished. I'm going to quickly draw a snowman. Are oh, you? Yeah. For Abby. <clears throat> no man's such a good example of like breaking it down into shapes because he's just circles, isn't he? He's just like, oh, and obviously if you want a triangle nose. Yeah, I told you who's speaking about. Right, so I'm going to draw the snowman. Yeah, I'm going to draw the snowman. That's nice. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shading on him to make him try and look a bit 3D. I'll show you one, another of my little examples. So I've got this little ceramic hand that I've made and a margarita glass. So this is a little basic outline shape combination. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start adding some shade to it. So can you ah. see what I've done, Abby? <laughs> I've put some shadows underneath them. So if you imagine that the sun's shining from here, yeah? <laughs> so he's got a shadow underneath here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, who have we got? Hello. Oh, what is it? So it's Daniel's iPad. I'm wondering if Heather's got my message. Um, you need to turn your video on. Could you join us? Oh, Daniel! Is that Daniel Edgar? Yeah. Aha! Daniel, do you know how to turn your microphone and your camera on? Nice. Okay. Anthony, how are you getting on? What have you drawn? Do you want to see my picture? I do, yes, please. Okay, I'm not done. Nice. <laughs> That's fantastic, Anthony. It's, my hand. it's your hand. Well done. I like it. Mm. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, Abby, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well oh, done. Oh, yes. I really like that. Really coming to life now. Abby? Can you see, if I put my hand up, it all looks like one flat colour, but if I turn it like that, can mm -hmm. you see it's now got dark areas wow. because of the way the, the light is. Can you see that? Yeah, so this is something that I was trying <laughs> with my ceramic hand is just even just doing little That's bits beautiful. of colour is, is sort of not, you don't need to worry about every line, just you know, you can just chunk it out in big areas of light and shade. If you want, if you want to practice yeah. light and shade, a cube's a really good example of how to do light and shade. If I quickly do a cube, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, timber! That's lowered. <laughs> uh. Who's that? Who's that? Just you hey. and me, too. Draw a cube, okay? Oh, yeah. Right, and I'm going to draw where the sun is. Uh, it's a zoom. It's a... Oh, are you just going to put You're bothering you. So, can you see that? Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be lightest on the top, and then one side's going to be like a mid-tone, and the other side, furthest away from the sun, is going to be really dark. Mm -hmm. so. right, do this really quickly. The lovely thing about working with ink is you can colour in really, really quickly. <laughs> you just it down, can't you? You can. Good, good that Good that yeah. Right. And then if I just do some lines for half shade. Sweet. So just while I'm doing a cube, I've just quickly talking the slop and ink down on the page. I've just sort of done the same sort of thing uh, idea with Ooh. a circle as well. Super simple. 
finding where your light is. And there yeah. we go. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> so that's how you can make things 3D. Sweet. Brilliant. Now I think oh, we're getting there. Now, do you remember all of those fun drawing activities, sort of loosening up uh, with the portraits last week? Do we want to do that with our still life objects? Because I feel like we've, we've probably done quite a bit of concentrating and focusing on the shapes uh, today. But should we finish off with a bit more loosey goosey? So, do you remember those different drawing tasks we did? So, we did one where we did one continuous line. Should we start doing a few shapes? doing like that and see what could happen so find a new object and without taking a pen off your page drawing that object so now you can either you can start thinking about the things we've covered today so if you want in your continuous line drawing you can think oh i could add a little circle or i could add a little cube into my continuous line drawing you can start building all these skills you've learned into one piece how about that so i'm gonna do oh I've not done my flamingo yet. I can't believe I've not done my flamingo yet. So I'm going to do, if I tell you what, I can even put it there. And if you want to draw a flamingo, he's there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you're asking, now you're asking the impossible. <laughs> What's that? What, drawing a flamingo? Yeah. <laughs> you can feel free just to draw the items you've been doing today. You can love that. Nice. those items. So feel free to do that. I'm just putting there in case you want to have a go. <laughs> it's just like when we we're doing the portraits last week, but start to think about what we've covered today. Oh, and I've run out of ink. Not very good. I think I can do better than that. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Today's my example of still life continuous line. And I've started thinking about all my shapes and trying to include my shapes inside of my items. <laughs> I've run out of a better space for his legs. He's only got little legs today. Just bring on. <laughs> Katie? Yeah? <clears throat> yeah? Wait till you see what I've done. <laughs> uh, you'll be laughing when you oh, see no. this. Hold it up to the screen for us. Right, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. That's a week. Oh, no, that's, that's quite adorable, actually, that bit. If you just lift up a bit higher, actually, for us, Brian, I can see your window. Yeah. Hang on. Oops. <laughs> can you see it now? It's a bit, your camera's a bit too high up if you just lower the camera for us. Or, <laughs> there we go, look at that. Reveal. Reveal of the bird. Brilliant. Oh, you know, other Helen would be very proud of us all drawing birds tonight. She would. <sighs> <laughs> that was a big sigh. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. So do you remember the drawing little challenge we did was not looking at our page. Oh, my no, you can uh, do this with a continuous line or you can do this taking your pen off the page. But just as an extra little fun little challenge is get one of your objects. Hey, all very elegant. Yeah, you shouldn't have seen my first attempt, it was dreadful. <laughs> so, what shall I do for... Uh, I've not done this mystery skull. This <coughs> skull is quite interesting. Oh, nice. In my We're... student house, I just found this in the backyard in a bin bag. How strange is that? Right, Katie? Yeah? Right, can I ask you a question? Go for it. 
Right. I am willing to give to to have a go at doing a skull if I know how to start. Um. So one of the ways I think because we've been doing our breaking down our shapes is yeah. thinking about. So are you thinking about this animal one? No, or no, no. Plastic one I've got here. Yeah. So, let me bring it to the camera for you. Oh, thanks. It's all right. Now, yeah. it's getting quite dark. So, are we going for front on? It's Where skeleton. Are we? Or are we going to do it side on? Like that. <laughs> That's like something out of the mouth of Boosh. So, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, so, see um, what... Well, she's just found the big yeah. main shape. Yeah. So we've got big circles for the eyes. Well done, Abby. A little well, twinkle. Well. Cool. So I just hold it there. Take it, take it and come back and then go. Oh, yeah, that's good. Thank you. What, what else have we got? And then we So I think about the teeth, so do you want to add little square teeth? The what? Teeth. teeth. You probably I need teeth. a big torch light. Coming out from my camera, actually. Let's see if I can rig one up for next week because it's a bit dark, isn't it? Uh... And you can have a nice big dome for his forehead. He's not got any air, this uh, this skull, so you can add a nice big head to him. Look at that. How about that, Katie? Oh, I can't quite see it, mind you, a bit. It's a bit overexposed. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> it was just a glowing rectangle. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. It's all right. Hey, there we go. Oh, I've got everybody on the schools now. That's cool. Is that all right? Yeah, spot on. That's brilliant. Again, do you know what we were saying about fruit and food being like classic still life subject yeah. matter? Well, I mean, the school <coughs> is like, if you're going to an art museum, you're just not. You're just going to see a load of fruit and skulls <laughs> in your uh, in your still lives. Wait a minute. My phone. Do you have like? It's five o'clock. Yes, please. I have done pizza. Oh, that's what Anthony. Pull it up a bit. Up a bit. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. I'm really liking the shape of your paper as well, actually, Anthony. It's making your pictures look really interesting. That sort of tall... Whatever water. And your bottle of water? Yeah. Fantastic. These are great. Now, we've got one more. I've got on my list of drawing activities. One more little thing, if you'd like to just have a little go at it. I know, yeah, just... the pizza. I know we're all thinking about cheese and pizza and stuff, but maybe we could just do one last little thing because um, we're going to, it's sort of, you've got all those things. I keep saying about building on your skills, but it's even, it's going in subconsciously, even without me thinking it, we're practicing it and it's going in there. And we're going to look at outlines. So again, do you know when I was talking about shading and you just squint your eyes a bit and everything goes a bit blurry? You have to pulling this funny face. Um, you get your items lined up and all you can just finish off is is finding the silhouette what we're calling it is of your object so you're going to draw just the outside line so instead of all these shapes and stuff in the middle you can have a, a look and you can stand back a bit and you can fill that in and that's what you've you've called a silhouette and you can again use a variety of items for this which is quite interesting you can make different shapes silhouettes so there's some artists that get loads of objects and shine the light on them to make a silhouette to make different things so there's like very advanced ones where <laughs> people get a big pile of rubbish and then they shine the light and they make a silhouette of a person but for, for now just finding your silhouette of an item you'd like to use i'm going to go back to the hand
So I'm just looking up the artist that makes silhouettes out of rubbish, and it's Tim Noble and Sue Webster, isn't it? Oh, that sounds, that rings a bell. Oh, brilliant! Thanks for getting them up. Yeah, I'll I'll save a picture because I've I've saved a picture of a still life by Paul Cezanne. Um, because I think he's an amazing painter. He's beautiful and he's very expressive. Um, rather than, you know, kind of the, the traditional Renaissance, very crisp. <laughs> yeah. Um, still lifes. So, if I share again, I can show you guys a traditional still life. So oh, that nice. is, uh, well, it's like a tea towel and a uh, bottle of wine and uh, it, this is actually called basket of apples um, and I think it's a beautiful example of how to use shade so I don't know if you can see the very right hand apple has a very dark red down one side and you can see the shadow running away from it across the table um, and the other picture I was going to show you I bring that up <coughs> Where is it? There. So Katie was saying that you that there's some artists who who make piles of rubbish basically, but when you shine a strong light onto them, it makes these amazing silhouettes. Um and I've actually seen some of this these people's art in real life and it's amazing. So how bizarre oh, is that? God. It's just a big pile of rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> but when they shine the light on it, you, it looks like two people back to back. Isn't that really clever? That's anyway. <laughs> Must have took a bit of uh, faffing about getting oh, that right. Yeah. <laughs> That's not well, a quick install. How do you guys get on with your silhouettes? So you get your silhouettes up so you can see how... Oh, crikey. A really dramatic picture. Can I, can oh, wow. I, excuse me. Can I just show you something, Helen? Yep. Don't laugh. Why but this is this is my drawing, right? Uh, of a sheep. Can't quite see the paper. Down a bit. Fantastic. Oh, there we are. There he is. So, I'm going to put mine side by side. You can see I've turned my mug around. So it's the opposite. Oh, yeah, side. very good. It's like a mirror. Yeah. Like the upside down world. So, what do you think of the sheep? That's fantastic, Brian. Yeah. Well done. Mine need a bit more wool on, that's all. Or maybe he's just had his, he's had his uh, coat, Sean, for the. For the spring, oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> can, can I just say something, right? This this group, it's really, really good, and I'm getting a lot out of it. So thank you very much. You're very welcome, man. Thank you for coming along and joining in, and yeah. being and everybody just being so enthusiastic and just getting stuck in. It's it's really great. Yeah, well, as I say, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for saying thank you. I got a pan of pizza, well. Oh, lovely. Well, see it. if everybody's happy, I think we're going to leave the session there because we're actually, we've, we've done an hour and a quarter nearly. Um, I'd be classic. 
Oh, that's mm. brilliant. Well done, Anthony. Oh, um, so oh, Abby, I love that. I love the colour. Oh, that's spot on. That is, it's beautiful. Well done. <laughs> um, <coughs> yes, Alan? Look at mine. That's brilliant. So, wh what I'll ask you guys to do is, if you can remember, try and take some pictures of your work and send it in to the Heathlands page for us. Because um, we'd love to put them on the art showcase on a Friday afternoon. So we can tell everybody how wonderfully you've been doing. Um, I'd like to thank Katie for an excellent lesson. Yeah. Do you hats guys have off, any... Katie. Yeah, hats off. Do you guys have <laughs> any questions? Uh, yeah, just one. Yeah. And this is this is to you, Helen. Me? Oh, I'll pay attention. Yes. <laughs> right. I know, I know that, yeah, I am at the moment doing portraits. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> so when I'm next in, would you like me to do your portrait? Well... I would absolutely love to say yes, Brian, but I'm not going to be back at work working until at least the middle of February. That's next so, week. No, middle of February. So the oh, earliest yeah. I will be back at work is something like the 18th. Um, because Eva's being homeschooled at the moment, I'm yeah. working from home. So <laughs> I won't be in for a while. Okay. So when I'm back... We shall do each other's portraits, Brian. That's a promise. Is that a promise? That's a promise. Right. And it's done. being recorded, so yes. <laughs> oh, it's not being recorded, is it? <laughs> oh, no. I, know. I did ask at the start if everybody was all right to record it. Yeah, I know that. I didn't mean... Oh, I don't know why. You mean I'm going to be recorded doing your portrait? No, no, no. No, I mean, this is recorded, our conversation. Thank God for that. <laughs> awesome. I got a question for Katie. Yeah? Hey, Katie, <laughs> you are, uh, I think you are a good artist. I would, oh, I would be, I I would be just artists. like you. I'm something I, do, I, think I think you lot are good artists as well. I'm really enjoying working with you on these sessions, but thank you for saying that. Uh, Katie? Yeah? How many more sessions have we got with well, you? Well, we've got two. So I quickly tell you what the next two are. Yeah. Yes, please. So yes, next please. week, I'm <laughs> calling it... I mean, I did, I did say landscape and views, but it might not have a beautiful rolling countryside out of our window. So I'm putting views as well. So that's going to be building up of what we've done today. And I'm planning on doing what's called mark making next week. So we're going to have a bit more fun about how we draw. And then for the last session, after that, we're going to do drawing sound and drawing emotions. So we're going to get really abstract. We're going to go a bit wild for the last session. We're just going to get loose and groovy with it. So we've got two more after, after today. Yeah. So after Katie's sessions, so we've got the, the views and landscapes and mark making next week, and we've got the sound and emotions the week after. <laughs> The week after that, we're going to be joined by a fantastic artist who's a poet called Phil Hewitson. Um, oh, yeah. So Phil is one of the gentlemen who runs what's called Speakeasy. And a Speakeasy is where people get together to share stories and poems and songs and things oh, like, like that. Poems. So it's all about writing. So... After Katie's finished in two weeks, Phil will be doing some writing with us. And I'm really looking forward to that as well. So, yeah, that's what's coming up. I should be a bit different. <laughs> I'll be yeah. a bit Hello. Different yes, that. Anthony. Um, is it, um, you say Bill before, um, is it the same Zoom? Or a different Zoom? No, no, it'll be on oh. this Zoom. It'll be the same oh, no. one. You okay. use the same link every week. Yeah, and, and we'll be joined by a lovely gentleman called Phil. And then after Phil, we've got Poi, who um, who's that? Poi Lee is a lovely artist who I went to university with. 
Oh, who's yeah. actually worked with us. Um, she did some superhero workshops with us and she's also done workshops through Tully House that you might have met her from. Um, and she's going to be doing some kind of making arts and crafts kind of stuff. Um, but before Poise sessions, I will be sending you out emails about the things that you might need to, to make the things that we're doing. So does that all sound good? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thank just, you very much. Do you, know, do you know something, Helen? It's just a shame that, you know, it's uh, near the end that we're not going to be seeing, you know, our budding artist anymore. Well, at the end of all these sessions in April, we will be doing a big group Zoom together and we'll have all the artists and all of you guys in it. And we're all going to have like a bit of a, a party at the end of the sessions. And we're going to show off everything that we've made and done. Which is going to be great fun. Be does, that include, does that include yeah. Katie as well? Yes, that'll be me, Helen, Katie, Phil, Poi and all of you guys. Oh, we'll all be able to crack the champagne up now. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Get a bottle of fizz and get some cake. Have a beer. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to have cake. Me too. Sounds good. Well, right. Is that it? Is that it? No, on Zoom. Yes, Alan? And enjoying that, Katie. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed running the session again. Really, All right. Yeah, yeah we'll bring you more. we hope that we have you again. So Another right? two, two weeks. Two more. Two more. Yeah. <laughs> right, Don't guys. <laughs> that is our time um, I'm getting hungry it's dinner time yeah, so, I've been. Yeah. I'm having um, carrot and coriander soup Ooh. Um, I'm having a similar meal oh very nice nice so what we'll do is we'll say goodbye um, and we will see you all again next week yeah Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys bye bye, bye. 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 bye.